Hey everybody. One of the uh, classic problems you'll find when you're doing work with um, gravity is the um, net gravitational interaction that one body will impart upon another, or more than one. So, um, as an example, what we want to do is not use the crayon. We want to set up a an object up here that has mass. So, oh, let's make its mass two kilograms and it's one meter away. Let's take another mass. And it'll be three meters away and its mass will be four uh, kilograms. And our question is, What's the what's the total force on um, <laughs> the purple object? So we have to remember what we uh, learned a long time ago that we can sum forces as vectors. And all I want here is the total force. So what I'm looking for then is the force of, of uh, green on purple plus the force of uh, blue on purple. What we're going to find is there's going to be, because it's gravity and the forces are always attractive to each other, we're going to see that force of green on purple is this direction and the force of blue on purple is this a direction, attractive. And the vector forces, so that means they're going to add like vectors. So we sum all the x components And the only force acting in the X component is going to be the force of blue on purple in the positive direction. And when we sum the forces in the Y direction, we're going to find that we have a positive force of green onto purple. These get expressed then as G mass of, doesn't matter, mass of purple, mass of, of uh, blue over the distance between uh, purple and blue squared. And that's going to equal G mass of purple, mass of green over the distance between purple and green squared. So these will come out fairly straightforward. We're going to have big G, mass of purple we didn't define yet. Uh, let's make that, uh, since we're here, 6 kilograms. So the mass of purple is 6 kilograms. The mass of blue is 4 kilograms. 
And we're going to divide this by the distance between blue and purple and square it. So it's going to be 9 meters squared. We'll come down to the y direction and we'll find ourselves with 2 kilograms and again times the 6 kilograms. Now we're dividing them by 1 meter squared. How do we express the answer? We have choices. We can express it as a vector. So we do the um, vector component first in the x direction. Um, g times uh, 24 divided by 9 is not an even number. <laughs> so where are we? So we're going to get G and 2.67 uh, kilograms meter squared, comma, big G times um, 12 uh, kilograms squared over meter squared. So we can express it in this format. Um, we can express it as a magnitude if we wanted to. Um, but for purposes of our discussion, what we needed to know is that the attractive force in the y direction is larger than the attractive force in the x direction. We find that just by looking at the coefficients. So the 2.67 versus the 12 and that could come as a surprise since the heavier mass is at 4 kilograms along the x. But we divide it by the distance squared. So it's important to keep in mind that this square function is going on when we do forces and uh, gravity. All right.